Has it ever happened to you that you really wanted to use your smartphone as a flashlight in an emergency situation and ended up wasting time in unlocking the phone and searching for that app you downloaded that day and all of that in a moment of anxiety? Next scenario. You wanted to capture a picture of something amazing that you just saw in that perfect moment and by the time you're done searching, unlocking, launching the camera application, that moment is gone. Yet another example, you are in that super boring meeting which is laptop down, no fiddling with the phone and you just wish, you just wish there was a button you could hit and check the game score. Or you're having lunch and need to check the stock price but quite obviously your hands are quite occupied but you still need to look at the stock price. Um, and this is my personal favorite. You get in your car and you just want to hit a button to enable Bluetooth on the phone to make calls or similarly you want to make calls with a single click of the key. Well, now there's a solution to realize the true potential of hard keys on your Android device. And to do all of that, it's called Smart Key Ninja. This is a one-of-a-kind application. There's nothing like it. And I'm going to show you some of the cool features and how you can use this application. This is the basic layout once the application is launched. Please pay attention to three things here. First of all, the ability to turn the service on and off, which basically turns the app on and off. Secondly, hard key combinations such as volume of long press, volume of down press. In total, there are 10 hard key combinations. And thirdly, the ability to assign any of the application in your Android device to any of the hard key triggers by tapping on the icon on the right and assigning respective application. For the first example, we are going to configure Bluetooth application to one of the hard key triggers. I'm going to launch the application. It scans all the application in a device. Configuration is pretty intuitive. You click on the icon right next to volume of long press and type Bluetooth. It's right there. After that, you turn the service on, which activates the application, and you exit the application by hitting home. And you lock the phone. And let's just say you just walked into your car, and all you want to do is turn on the Bluetooth with a single click. You hit the power key, you hit volume up long press, and it says turning on Bluetooth. And if you want to turn off the Bluetooth, you again hit the volume up long press, and Bluetooth is turned off. Simple as that. The second example we're going to see is configuring speech to text application to certain triggers such as volume down long press. So we have uh, Vlingo already configured here so I'm going to show you how it works. Let's say for example your device is locked already. All you do is hit power key and then volume down, long press, and Vlingo pops up. You say, call John. Two yet another um, quite frequently accessed applications are music player and camera. And I have them configured on volume up, double tap, music player, and on volume down, double tap, camera. Now we're going to launch music player, volume up, double tap, and camera, volume down, double tap. So hit power, volume up, double tap, music player. Volume down, double tap, should launch camera. It does. It shows the last picture that I took. If I go back here, the camera is right here. I'm going to run the camera again. Power key. Volume down, double press. There you go, your camera. Not only the hard key triggers, there's another thing which is if you hit the power key and you tap the screen, a dashboard pops up. You can customize nine applications right here, like stock. Or let's say, for example, if you are a really regular user on Facebook, Facebook or your Maps application right here. 
you can configure any application to any trigger or to any icon that you want. It's completely customizable. A Smart Key Ninja only gives access to the application that you have configured with the triggers or on the dashboard. For example, here on the dashboard we have configured Stocks, Facebook and Map which you can pick and choose what is important to you and what is not or what is confidential to you and what is not. But if you were to have full access to the phone, you still need to unlock the phone by giving the pattern or the password that you have configured. Smart Key Ninja does not give access to your full phone unless a password or pattern is provided. Now it is time to show you some of the Ninja moves. Hit power key, volume down long press, wheeling go. Volume up long press, Bluetooth on. Volume up long press again, Bluetooth off. Volume down double tap, launches the camera. Volume up double tap, launches the music player. Tap here, dashboard. In total, nine applications can be configured on the dashboard.